morning y'all this morning is our first day in our house being like all day and last night we all slept so good we all slept like bricks last night it felt so good but we did not go to bed until like four o'clock at night or something we were really busy unpacking and just hustling all over the place we had to go back to the rv to grab some more stuff and then we, last night we came to unpack it. I was wanting to film it, but it just got really late and we were just so tired and didn't feel like anything. So yeah, just tell you that. And look y'all, dad just came in with Mark, Luke and John and they pulled up the RV. Let me go show y'all. They got the RV all pulled up and now everything is like here. So I'm gonna show y'all. Let's go over here. Did you get the RV? Yeah. Yeah, it's all here? All right, let's go see. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. The RV's here. It's gonna be weird going inside of there, being at the house. It's gonna be so weird. You got it? Yeah. What? Oh, you got the RV here. Barely. Barely? <laughs> barely. Barely, you made it, but you barely made it. Oh my goodness, it looks so weird. Look at that, y'all. The slide is in. It's so weird, y'all. It's like, the RV is like here, and it's like, we're not going back to that other place. It's gotten weird. But yeah, Joy? we have a lot to unpack. Yes? You, know what? you have to put the driver's seat up, but you can put the slide out if you'd like. Okay, let's go put up the slide out. Okay, let's put up the driver's seat, and then we can... What's going out? You can just hear it's almost there. There you go. There, we're good. We did it, y'all. We did it. Now there's a lot to unpack. Too much to unpack. Too much to unpack. And it is actually already noon, so the day is flying by. Just like yesterday, it flew by. It doesn't even feel like one, I mean, like noon. I just got done organizing my closet, y'all. I think I got pretty much everything that goes in my room. I got the bed and everything. You already saw that, but this is what I worked on. I did it, y'all. I did it. <laughs> Look at that. I got was able to get my sewing machine and a couple bins up there too, y'all. It's turning out really good. And now that I got all this, I need to go help mom and Matthew clean the kitchen. Alrighty y'all, we're gonna start making dinner now. And I think our plan for dinner is to do baked potatoes. We have some potatoes in the oven. And then right now I have to make some ground beef and steamed broccoli. Morning y'all, today is day two of us living in the house and I think all of our tiredness is catching up to us. I feel so tired y'all. But look what we did yesterday. We got up the couple of signs y'all. Look, we got that one and the Bible verse and then the last two. So we were able to hang up everything yesterday. And look at this picture y'all, it's an older picture. This is when we were back in California with when I was with Precious. <laughs> She's such a sweet girl. So yeah, we got everything. And good morning, Chubbies. What are you doing? Are you licking your paws? We brought him over when we brought over the RV. And yeah, he, at first he was freaking out a little bit like, where am I, where am I? But he's been in here before, but he's never like slept in here. So he's like, where am I? But he finally calmed down, I think, to, by today and last night. He finally was like, okay. This is home, you know. But yeah, we got everything set up in here, y'all. And yesterday we were just so busy. We were cleaning everything. And I'm sorry if yesterday I wasn't like holding y'all like this, you know. I was kind of just setting y'all up a lot. 
and seeing out what I was doing because it's it's hard to kind of film what I'm doing and trying to help at the same time. So setting you all up is always the easiest thing to do. And then last night we went to bed like at was it 12 at midnight? And then I woke up like at 7:30 this morning. So yeah, a lot of busy. <laughs> we've been unpacking like crazy, and I wanted to show you everything we've been unpacking. But I got pretty much all my room organized yesterday. I was just cleaning my room like crazy, organizing the closet like nuts, and just going crazy. So we got all that, and now my room's pretty much done. Now it's just kind of like the rest of the house and all that. But yeah, we've been super busy, and I think yesterday I was like kind of tired, but now today I think it all caught up on me. I'm like, I'm exhausted. <laughs> A lot of boxes in and out in the garage and we figured out there's a lot of things we packed that we did not need But yeah, everything's good y'all. Everything's going well We're just tired and just trying to get this done Finally trying to get settled, but everything's working good. Everything's working good and I want to show y'all everything That everyone's working on outside. So yeah Hey boys, what are you doing? I'm making some wubba boom. Hi. Hi. What are you doing? Nothing. Packing a lot of boxes. Yeah, I'm really busy. <coughs> yeah. Mr. Chubbs, what are you doing? Like, I'm just hanging up. Got our couch set up, y'all. We actually found the last two cushions because we were missing the cushions, but then we finally found them. And yeah, our whole couch is there now. Yeah. Um, no, it's okay. You can put that somewhere else. Do you want it? No. No, I don't want it either. <laughs> <laughs> this is the office room, y'all, and we were organizing a lot of the books and our school books. This is mainly right here is our school workbooks. I think that's my stuff. Luke's, Mark's, and then Matthew's stuff. But we were got a lot of this done, and we kind of have a lot of books because our mom really likes books. But yeah, she likes to have a lot. I'm gonna start vacuuming, y'all. I got a vacuum. We haven't really vacuumed since. I think a couple days now, so I got a vacuum here. So that's what we'll be doing right now. I just came in to take a step outside and just to be outside for a second. We were like inside, like almost like all day yesterday, just unpacking and stuff. So I just came outside and the weather, y'all, is so beautiful. It's so nice. The last couple days, not the last couple days, but a couple days ago, it was kind of rainy and cold. And then now it's perfect. The sun isn't out. It's like cloudy and there's a little breeze and it's just so beautiful out right now. And as you'll see, look, all the grass is coming back, and it looks like it's like, you kind of see spring almost to come. And it's really pretty, all the grass turning out really pretty. We still, the horses and the dogs are actually still over at the other property. So after I think we get a lot of the inside done, we have to start building the cages so they can come here. And I think what we're gonna do is kind of build the stalls in the barn and then put a barber or something and make a sun pasture for them. And then for the dogs, I think we're gonna just set up what they have now, like their, um, what is it called? The electric wire or whatever. And I think that'll work best for them. Look at all those boxes, y'all. Ah, all the boxes. But at least the dogs aren't like, so far, they're just kind of down the road. So that makes it easy. And I haven't gone, I haven't seen the animals, y'all, in like two days. Feels like I'm missing something throughout my day when I don't see them. <laughs> so yeah, maybe later on a day I'll be able to go down there and see all the animals because I haven't seen them in a while. And I haven't rode the horses, y'all, in like a week, week and a half maybe. It feels like it's been so long and I know I need to do that. But once we get settled in, y'all, it'll be so nice. Once, I, once we're all settled in, I can actually ride them and catch back up on all their training because I know it's been a while. We're going to be going over to the other property, y'all. The property that we were staying at. 
so we can go feed the dogs and the horses and check up on them. I haven't seen them, like I said, since since we left. Hey, doggies. Hey, it's a Jack Louie. Come here. You so excited? You so excited? She's a pregnant woman. Okay, go. No, I'm so excited. I didn't know you were a new Hi. Hi, girl. Hey, sweet girl. Hi. Hi, oh. We missed you. We missed you. No one over soon. We told me for three more minutes. We're taking everything out of the shed, yo. We started getting all this, all the shelves out. So that's what we're working on right now. Alrighty, see you later, dogs. See you later. We'll come back maybe later on this evening or tomorrow. Can't wait to get them over at our house. We have to, we have to get them food. Oh yeah. yeah. Gotta get him some food and yeah y'all we got the trailer all filled up and we're gonna have to come back for a second load to get all these bikes here. We're back y'all. It felt so good to see all the animals. And it looks like, and that's said maybe later on today we can move the dogs and probably set up something over there for them. Hey y'all, I want to tell y'all something. And I want to tell you something that my mom really likes, and that's all over the house. And I want to let you know, if you see a lot of them, it's because she likes it. And I'm just going to share it with y'all, okay? Alright, so, something my mom really loves. She loves chickens and red stuff. Chicken red stuff. There we go. But the problem is she likes, like, the... What's the word for it? Decorations for it. She likes real chickens too, but she never hold the chicken because she's like freaked out. But she loves a lot of chicken stuff and it's all over the house. Just joking y'all it's not that bad I was just kind of playing around with her with all that stuff because I know she loves all that stuff so that's why it's kind of funny because it's just like pop chicken red all over the place but I guess you could say that that's like for my room too because I have horse things all over the place I have one two, a couple horses up there and horses over there but she likes her chickens I like my horses so yeah got offended. Yes, I love you too, Chips. Don't worry. Alrighty, I've got to start organizing our kids' bathroom stuff. There's a lot of just random things, and it needs all needs to be organized. Looks like we packed up the last bathroom back in California. It was kind of just tossed in a box, in the second box that y'all are sitting on. So yeah, I'm going to get organizing. Need some help. We did it, y'all. It's done. We organized the bathroom. Now we just have to take out those boxes outside and 
we're done. Y'all, guess what? I'm just about to go with Dad and I think a couple of my brothers and we are gonna move the dogs over. I think we might uh, have to walk them down the road instead of bringing them in the trailer. We thought that might be easier than trying to get them in the trailer. So yeah, so we're, that's what we're doing right now and I'm just burning my hair so it's not in the way of when we move the dogs. Let's go get the dogs, y'all. I'm really excited to bring them over. I'll actually have a chore to do in the morning to go outside and feed the animals. I love doing that. Just going outside in the morning. It's nothing better, y'all. Okay, let's go get the dogs. We're gonna go have to get the kennel. I think there's 16 panels or something like that. I think that's what Dad said. And we gotta put them all together and then keep them in that temporary as we set up a bigger area with some other fencing. We are in the back of our dad's truck and it's all enclosed and don't give any bad comments of like, oh, that's so dangerous. It's not that dangerous. Well, maybe, but we're just going, it's just right down the road, y'all. And it'll be really quick and it's not that bumpy and it's really fun and it's just awesome. So we're gonna have to go take the kennel apart and then get the dogs. Yeah, we want the walk. And that's what we're doing. And I hope y'all's battery doesn't die by the time we get all that stuff done. And if it does, I don't know. We'll just see. Alrighty. So we're driving over there right now. And I'll see y'all when we're there. Oh, look who joined us, y'all. What were you doing? Cutting down trees. For what? A raft. For a raft? You're going to make a raft for the pond. That's pretty cool. We just got back from taking the dogs and bringing them here. See those little white fluff balls back there? Those are the dogs. And then Lily's off the leash because we know for sure she won't really go anywhere. And yeah, so we just got the kennel all put together. I think they're putting on the last panel. And I just came to grab y'all because yeah, y'all's battery died. Right when we were in the middle of taking off the panels for the dog cage. That's why it was such a short clip because y'all's battery died. But anyways, I'm going to show you where we're going to be putting it here. Now this is just for locking them up at night and in the daytime we want them to have them roam around. But look, look what we got. That's a, pretty, that's a pretty big area for them. Yep. For at night. that you'll stay here so that's why we're taking you on the leash we oh. you. we're right. taking you on the leash but I'm sure you'll Hello. get used to it. if these two girls stay because these two are really good the, if, they, if you call their names they'll come and they're really good oh yeah, yeah. but Jack he's still uh, learning a little um. okay let's go back a little crazy y'all. Meet Mark, my brother. <laughs> Just kidding. We're gonna put the dogs in the kennel y'all. Well actually we'll probably let them explore a little bit longer but I'm sure after Jack gets ran around a little bit I'm sure he'll get used to it a lot. Yeah. But Asia's really good. I totally forgot that even, even at the ranch where we were she was totally fine. Completely fine. She would fall around the property and she'd be completely fine.